What is going on guys? Now, there is a lot of missing footage uh, that I thought I got. Uh, might not have been recording. But I have a few shots from the gimbal, which I'm going to smash up now. Maybe do some voiceovers, but I don't uh, know where the cord is for my phone to record the voiceover. So I might have to just do it with the phone uh, microphone, uh, which is unfortunate when you're videoing. That's not a big problem, but when you are... Um, yeah, doesn't matter. Um, sorry about the noise. We're in the animal room. That's the fish tanks bubbling away. And um, yeah, so we're going to go back to the expo. I've been super busy doing uh, some long shifts, making money so I can uh, start doing stuff again because I've had a bit of a break, but um, I've got to get back at it and I'm excited. I've got a sticker machine now. So um, my mate Rob's got me into it. He's got me hooked and um, I thought I better start making the video before I just keep playing around with stickers. So let's get on with the video and I hope you guys enjoyed the time at the expo and if you're unfortunate fortunate enough to not make it down to the expo i hope you guys can join us next time Ooh, low battery and um yeah i'll see you there so let's get on with the video and um this is really awkward <laughs> well i found my yeah i'm not actually sure it's working because it's picking up that i'm talking quite loud but we'll see how it goes so this is a time lapse of our pack up so we actually had to wait till 10 o'clock friday night to uh, actually set up in the main hall because um, because they had bingo on that night. So uh, yeah, that was a bit of a bummer. We uh, got up, got in there and helped out moving all the tables around and putting the chairs away so we could start setting up ASAP because uh, a few people had a lot to set up. I had a marquee and uh, two tables and three containers because uh, Rob brought everything the next day to set up. So he came early in the morning and did that uh earlier in the day we actually managed to get a few set up because this is the other uh other room that we had and uh discover deadly set up in there so um it was pretty cool worked out really well and um hopefully next time we don't have to wait for bingo and uh set up super late because uh it was a bit of a bummer so when Rob got there in the morning, we got to set up the marquee. It was looking a bit bland, so I decided that I'd uh, bring some uh, <laughs> vines and leaves and stuff that I don't have in my enclosures, and uh, it was just in a bag. So put it up and uh, made it look a little bit pretty, and then I remembered that we have a shirt. So me and Rob hang up. <laughs> Rob and I hung up the shirts and uh, sorted out our little table. Maybe it'll look a little bit prettier next time, but uh, it worked out all right, and thankfully... Most of the people that said that they were going to buy a shirt actually rocked up and brought a shirt, which is quite crazy because okay, usually right, people say they're going to buy something and never buy it. I probably do that a lot. And I usually say I'm going to sell stuff and I never do. But first, next to us, we had uh, JSG Reptiles, which is Josh. Uh, we had the Exoterra guys set up. They had a few um, Bioscape a few things from Bioscape, but we'll come back and have a look at them. Uh, then we also had Pet Magic as well, which had some pretty decent prices on some of their hides. And um, these guys are TJ, I can't remember, but I'll, we'll go back to them because they actually brought something really cool. And this is uh, Jay's tent, so uh, Jay Exotic. Um, I might actually put some of the links to their Facebook pages and maybe channels if they have them. But um, that little guy right there is actually an incredibly special little reptile and we were quite blessed to have him. But he uh, didn't really have the spotlight that he needed because he was just jammed into one of these things along with all of his other ones. Not saying that his other ones aren't nice, they're just not as cool as that one. But yeah, just behind Jay's tent, which is just across the road from Mounds, uh, we had Nathan Marwick. Uh, he had an absolutely crazy setup with his new PVC vivs that he's got and he's selling as well. And then um, just straight across the road from us, we had Wayne and his family from Racky, Racky, Jesus, Wacky Reptiles. And uh, they had a few little display animals out as well throughout the day. And um, uh, yeah, they had some animals for sale, some heat tiles, heat cords. There was plenty of things there. Uh, to get everyone started, which was actually really great because um, I think it worked out really well having everything there. Also, Wayne's got some things that uh, us normal keepers can't have. And um, so we'll have a look at them and then I will do a little bit of a tour around while the expo was on. 
So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. I'll probably wrap the video up after this and maybe make another one. I'm not 100% sure. I remember the days, always at the same place, the same people every day. I will never forget this black old Corvette standing in front of my way. We were both in high school I thought I was a fool Oh, when I was falling for you You keep drawing me in And I know it's a sin But even so, yeah, I need you, you, you You taste like candy Eat you on a Sunday Feel so bittersweet Knowing I can leave you taste like candy Eat you on a Sunday I can feel the beat On my heart and face Cause you taste like the video up with that i'm gonna try the next video to do the walk around not use any music not use any b-roll because i find myself keep falling into this uh little hole of just getting slack on making the video chucking some music on and uh just going through the same clips we went through in the last one yes i've noticed i think maybe most of you have noticed but it does uh it's super hard to do this um especially because i've been working a lot and um i got heaps going on as well so squeezing this into it and then by the time the kids have gone to sleep i can't record voiceovers because my voice is so loud that uh i'll keep them up all night so um yeah so hopefully next video complete walkthrough uh barely any editing just talking and um that's where i'll do a lot of the shout outs and talk through uh, some of people's purposes. Actually, I shouldn't be promising you guys this stuff because this sounds like a lot of work and um, I don't like doing a lot of work. So take it easy, guys. Stay awesome and remember you can't fail if you try. See you later.